Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is an English summary, a just and a translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Mona Kamru Zama Sab Damar Barakatuhum, which took place on Saturday, the 16th of Rabi'ul Awal 1443, corresponding with the English date 23rd of October 2021. This particular Majlis took place at the Jama Masjid in Baleshwar, Surat, Gujarat, India. Hazar Wala starts off by quoting the Surah of the Quran in Majid, A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Qul, A'udhu bi Rabbin Nas, Malikin Nas, Ilahin Nas, Min Shadril Waswasil Khan Nas, Alladhi Waswisu Fi Sudurin Nas, Min Al Jinnati Wan Nas. He says, Thereafter that I have just come from giving a bayan in front of great ulama and a huge madrasa. Now make dua that I do not become awe-stricken with you people in front of me, also senior people here as well. That was on a lighter note, Hazarwala is saying. And make dua that Allah Ta'ala gives us the tawfiq or decorates us with ilm and amal, knowledge and practice. Now, before reading the Quran in Majid, we first say the ta'awud, a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim I seek protection in Allah against shaitan the accursed. Now, we start off with that, the amal is also that of good, but shaitan is such a deceiver. And he's always lying in ambush that even if a person intends making tilawat, shaitan wants to put his peace there and wants to also penetrate. Therefore, we should always seek refuge and protection in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was present. Jibra'il was present. The Quran is in front and shaitan comes about putting his whisperings, his waswasas in the hearts and in the ears of people due to which a person now becomes confused, he rejects the wahi, he becomes an apostate and a murtad. Therefore, I stipulate this dua as necessary. Allahumma a'tini imanan la yartad. O oh Allah, Bless me with Iman, after which there is no apostasy, no irtidad. وَيَقِينًا لَيْسَ بَعْدَهُ kufr, And such yaqeen, after which there is no disbelief. وَرَحْمَةً أَنَالُ بِهَا شَرْفَ كَرَامَتِكَ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ And such rahmat, by, which, by means of which I can achieve the honor of your grace in this dunya and in the akhirah. Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to make talqeen of this particular dua, rather the last portion of it, asking Allah for the khair of this dunya and akhirah, he particularly made talqeen of that to me, saying that you should read this dua. Now if Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made this dua, and there is no question about irtidad and apostasy when it comes to a Nabi, so then from this, we should take a huge and a great lesson. Another dua we should make to Allah. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-fitan ma dhahara minha wa ma batan. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from trials and tribulations, the apparent ones and the hidden ones, the external ones and the internal ones. وَمِنْ يَوْمِ السُّوءُ وَمِنْ لَيْلَةِ السُّوءُ and I seek refuge in you from an evil day and an evil night. Wamin sa'ati su wamin sahibi su and from an evil moment and from an evil friend. There are so many fitnas. You know when we used to go sometimes into the marketplace and in the bazaars to go and get something, Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to become so restless. He would pace up and down, so much so that he would not even have his lunch saying that what could happen that in the bazaars, there's so many temptations, nazar -e bad this, that, and uh, the other. 
looking after the eyes, the ears and the tongue. Hazrat Mawla Shah Wasiullah Sahib's apartment was upstairs and on one occasion a alim of note came, nevertheless he came for Islah and he is looking through the window onto the street. At that time, now I just want you to look at how fine and how delicate their gaze and their nazar was. That he said to me, see this person has come here for his Islah and to pass the different stages of suluk but he's looking at the street how would he then look after his gaze chashmo band gosho band vulabbo band gar nabini noor haq barman bakhand that shut your eyes plug your ears and zip your mouth then too, if you do not see the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then laugh at me. Shut your eyes, do not look at unnecessary things and plug your ears, we should not be listening to this, that and the other and zip your mouth. Min husni islam il mar'i tarkuhu ma la ya'ni From the beauty of the Islam of an individual is that he leaves out useless and futile things. On one occasion, we were in Hazarwala's camera and his private room when the sound of music started coming and penetrating through. And then he remarked and he said, Now what would we do? How would we save ourselves? How would we protect ourselves? Now look at how much fikr for his Islam he had. And what, what was he called? What title was he given? Muslihul Ummat. And in the court, and in the darbar of Hazrat Tanvi rahimahullah, he had a remarkable and khas maqam and position. Hazrat Munar Shah Ismail Saab used to say that if a person carries out mujahadat and different spiritual exercises, and after all of that, then too does not come upon him which came upon the Akabirin, then he used to say, understand well that you have some deficiency and aib and fault in you, some type of razila in you, maybe one, maybe many, rather you may have all within you. He has written this in sirat e mustaqim Now our dunya is supposed to be different. Leave alone haram, we should even stay away from mushtabahat and that which is doubtful. Allah Ta'ala says to his Nabi, Ya ayyuhar rusul, Kulu minat tayyibat wa amalu saliha. O messengers, eat from the wholesome, eat from the halal, and carry out good deeds. Hazrat Sayyidina Abdul Quddus Gangohi rahimahullah used to say that there is an ishara in this that good deeds are actually suspended on halal intake. If you actually want to do good deeds, first and foremost, your intake. And your consumption should be that of halal. Now look at the tatbik. On one side, Allah Ta'ala is commanding the Anbiya to do that. On the other hand, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is expressing his ajizi before Allah and he's making the dua for the very same. That Allah, you're asking us to do this. We cannot do this. Allahumma inni as'aluka rizqan tayyiba. Oh Allah, we ask you for halal risk, wholesome sustenance. And thereafter, وَعِلْمًا نَافِعًا Beneficial knowledge, وَعَمَلًا مُتَقَبَّلًا And accepted actions. Now look at the tartib of the ayat and look at the tartib of the hadith. Allahu Akbar. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَيُعَلِّمُكُمُ اللَّهِ Fear on Allah and Allah will teach you. Allah will teach you as far and as much as you can help it. Look after your eyes, your ears and your tongue. Stay away from layani and futile things. Some time ago, some years ago, I gave the same similar type of talk in Tarkeswar and many of the people enjoyed it and appreciated it. So if we want to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to save ourselves from ma'asiyat and disobedience, rather from even the doubt of disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen, Allah is independent. Make this dua as well. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa'. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from knowledge which is not beneficial. 
وَقَلْبِ لَا يَخْشَعْ And a heart which does not fear وَأَيْنِ لَا تَدْمَعْ And an eye that does not tear وَمِن دُعَاءِ لَا يُسْتَجَابُ لَهَا And from such a dua which is not accepted There was a Buzruk and in his vicinity in his area, in his locality, a great muhaddith loved. Someone asked him, Hazrat, have you been to the tars of this muhaddith? He said, yes, on one occasion. And I learned a great hadith from him. Min husni islam il mar'i tarkuhu ma la ya'ni. But what to do? I've still not come to fully making amal on this particular hadith, so I never went back as yet. Now look at their nazar. Look at their nazar. Their nazar and their gaze was so much on that of Amal. Sometimes, occasionally, Hazrat Mawlana Shah was you, Lassab, would see and go through the akhbar and the newspapers. And then he would say, that what to do now? There's pictures in the newspapers. How would we save of ourselves? How would we protect ourselves? This is the amount of fikr he had. Khune dil pineku, pineko, lakhte jigar kaneko, yehi ghiza milti hai jana teri diwaneko, drinking of blood, and eating that of the liver, meaning undergoing sacrifice. You have to make an effort and sacrifice. And this is the nourishment. The ones that are attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala go through this year. In fact, Hazrat Haji Imdadullah rahimahullah used to say that, I mean, we speaking about the eyes, ears and the tongue. He used to speak about the heart. Aasake ghair, mere khane dil mein kaise? How can ghair, anyone else other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gain entry into my haram of my heart? Ke khayale rukhi dil dar, darban apna. That the thought, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is my God. The love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not allow disobedience to penetrate. Nevertheless, the surah of the Qur'an that I quoted to you, Allah Ta'ala says, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ In this surah, the whole of suluk is mentioned and the tariq and path to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Rather, the cure and the treatment is also said. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ Say, I seek refuge, shelter with the Rabb of mankind. Meaning, if you have a problem, then don't look towards nas. Because nas, tumara nas karenge. They would spoil things for you. They would destroy things for you. They would put you into difficulty and trouble. There is a great talim in this for all of us. That listen, the people are the same as you. Why are you turning to them for help and refuge? Rather, go seek refuge in the rub of mankind. And normally, Many times when this doesn't happen or it doesn't work out, our, our affairs, when our, our, our matters do not work out, then what's the next best thing we do? We go to the courts. And then immediately after that, Allah Ta'ala gives us hidayat again and says, Malikin Nas, seek refuge in the king of mankind. Don't go to the supreme judge of the high court. Rather go to the king of uh, mankind. On one occasion, there was some type of difficulty and a person opened a window in the direction of uh, Hazrat Haji Imdadullah rahimahullah. It was a doctor due to which some amount of taklif came about because of Bepardagi, uh, people would come and this and that. So people said to Hazrat Haji Saab that why don't you raise this objection to the courts? And then he said, it's not suitable for us to raise such an objection to the court. Rather, I have already presented it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Malikin Nas, the king of mankind. Hazrat Mawlana Abraham al used to say that, listen, whenever any type of difficulty, calamity, musibah, trial, tribulation would come, first things first, Turn your attention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know all knew Monana, he was so meticulous about his medicine, this, that and the other. That was in his place. But first and foremost, do your ilaj, do whatever you have to do. Even go to a doctor, not a problem. But first and foremost, turn your attention to Allah. So that's Malikin Nas because he is the king 
of mankind and in his possession and in his kudrat and in his power is the hearts of people and then many times things don't still come right and a person is suffering from black magic sihar this that and the other so allah ta'ala goes on to say ilahin nas the ilah of mankind so in every type and in every place etc i mean hazrat tanvi rahimahullah ta'ala has said that people normally compl have a complaint about mice at night and not so much during the daytime it's quiet it's dark these mice come out from their holes and they run amok and then he gives this particular example so beautifully and thereafter goes on to say that light the lantern of zikr in your heart so all these other things can be burnt or rather they can run away and they don't make their appearance like how these mice don't make their appearance when it is light or when the candle is on but when people blow off everything and go and sleep they run a mock so we should carry on reading our wazaif we should do that and we should be punctual on it khayrul amal ma dima alay the best of actions is that which is consistent mustaqillan we continue doing that then we would see the benefit of it you know hazrat mona shah wasila said to me on an occasion that sometimes your tabiat is not right and you tend to be sick and ill but most definitely you should sit up till the ishraq salat and remain in dhikrullah and whatever happens i do this i do this hazrat haji imdadullah sahab rahimahullah on one occasion sees a peer telling his disciple and murid to stand in the sun then he addresses hazrat tanwi and others and says to them i did not do this to you people meaning he made it so easy for them and he let all of them pass the different stations of suluk and they reach their destination on one occasion hazam mana gangohi was going from makkah mukarrama to madina munawwara and he said to hazir haji sahab that i am leaving mana yaqub sahab with you so he said not a problem but tell him not to speak nevertheless hazir gangohi went and he returned and hazir haji sahab said to him that i told you that i told you to tell him not to speak but whenever anyone would come he would speak now hazrat haji sahab took into consideration his knowledge and his ilm but whatever he had to say in the line of isla he said that tell him not to speak he was a giant of knowledge and where was he going to remain silent when somebody asked this or said that or the other he would want to remark or comment and put his little part as well so hazrat haji sahab made the suluk and tasawuf so easy for us thereafter hazrat tanwi rahimahullah made it so easy on one occasion he said regarding suluk and tasawuf it is ta'miru dhahir wal batin to uh, fully inhabit or make ma'mur and cover the external and the internal the apparent and the hidden the outward and the inward the physical and the spiritual what the zahir the a'mal are taken care of and what the batin the akhlaq e hasana are taken care of so hazrat gangohi rahimahullah used to say that when a person has a natural disinclination towards sin and a natural inclination towards a uh, good deeds then he should understand that he has achieved it and there is a uh, no space or no importance for wajd and kaif and hal and that etc so allah taala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of walking the path of suluk which our buzurgan din had shown us you know a uh, very great nadwi alim in has mentioned regarding the malfuzat of hazrat maulana shah wasiullah sahab and he says that that the malfuzat and the statements 
of Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Sahib are or should be or definitely should be read in this time and age. It is muta'ayyan. It is specified. Nevertheless, Allah Ta'ala give us hidayat and protect us from and make our hifazat from all types of calamities. Say, I seek refuge with the Rabb of mankind, the King of mankind, the Ilah of mankind, min sharril waswasil khannas, from the evil of the whisperer who draws back. He draws back. He hides immediately after whispering in evil into man's heart or into his ears. You know when he draws back? He draws back. When a person carries out the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should carry out abundantly the dhikr of Allah. Allah ta'ala says, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ Remember me and I shall remember you. Whoever remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then there's no question of waswasa waspas, and the whisperings of shaitan. With the dhikr of Allah comes hifazat. Protection from Allah. When there is protection from Allah, can there be any instigation, whispering from the side of the devil and shaitan? No ways. Never ever. I have just come from making a bayan and whatever little I have presented to you, I have presented. Now let us make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am tired as well. Uh, my health, this, that, and the other. Now let us make dua. Rabbana la tuzih qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka anta al-wahhab. Allahumma aslih li sha'ni kullah wa la takilni ila nafsi tarfata ayn wa la tanzi' minni sariha ma a'taytani wa la taftinni fi ma ahramtani. Allahumma alif bayna qulubina wa aslih dhata baynina wa ahdina subul as-salam wa najjina min al-dhulumati ila al-nur wa jannibna al-fawahish ma ظهر منها وما بطن وبارك لنا في أسماعنا وأبصارنا وأزو وقلوبنا وأزواجنا وذرياتنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم There is great inclination and people are coming and listening and accepting and taking with them whatever little they hear رجوعات people's attention easier and the attention is towards me. It is a great ni'mat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala accept it. And Allah ta'ala bless us with afiyat. Dawam al-afiyah. Wa shukra ala al-afiyah. And Allah ta'ala protect us from all. Uh, and, and make our hifazat from shaitan. And his uh, whisperings. And his plans and plots and schemes Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al-sameeu al-alim wa tub alayna innaka anta al-tawaf al-rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam